So what we're looking at here is uh, an act of vandalism. Uh, Bennington Police yesterday. Chief Paul Doucette uh, shows us the damage at the Morgan Street uh, Cemetery. And uh, pushing on some of the headstones, knocking them over. You can see where they've landed on top of the grass. And This is unfortunately not the first time that his department has responded for this kind of damage. You guys were here in October of last fall. That's correct. That's correct, we were, um, and that, that case uh, remains unsolved. This past October, approximately 200 headstones were toppled over and vandalized. Many of the stones here mark Bennington, Vermont's oldest grave sites. While police investigated, a small army of volunteers helped to make the delicate repairs. I mean, this is, this is all from yesterday. But. Fast forward months later, it appears vandals have struck once again. Ten more headstones knocked over this past weekend. He says the latest incident happened on Sunday, but the alleged culprits have been identified thanks to an alert resident who called police, offering a detailed description of two juveniles who have since been interviewed by officers. We're, we're really hoping to get uh, restorative justice out of these uh, violations. The chief says the unidentified kids are being offered a chance to try to make things right. They and their parents are being invited to a May 27th cleanup day at the cemetery. It was a pre-scheduled event after the last incident of vandalism that occurred this past fall. That should send a message. Um, you know, we're not trying to put everyone into the court system um, and, and, and have everyone have a record. Uh, we want people to be held accountable for their actions. We're, we're lacking that. In Bennington, Anya Tucker, News 10 ABC.